Dozens came out to the opening reception for the annual Biscuit Painters of America show at the Cuyahoga Valley Art Center on April 6th. The works from members of the Whiskey Painters, which are small watercolor works created using watercolors with whiskey or other spirits, can be seen through May 2nd. Nice to talk to you, Ellen. Next time I see you, I'll have to ask your name again. <laughs> Kind of started uh, well there was a fellow by the name of Joe Ferio and he was a member of the Akron Society of Artists which was an older group it started back in the 30s uh, all these fellows would meet and uh, that would paint and Joe Ferio owned a plastics firm which is still in existence today and uh, Joe used to travel for his company so uh, what he would do he loved to paint so he couldn't take big painting and things with him, so he, he made little pieces of uh, painting paper about four by five inches and made up a little palette. Didn't he make it out of like an aspirin box or something? He made up a little palette like out of an aspirin box and put it in his pocket. And then after he would make his calls when he was out of town, in the evening he would go out to a piano bar or a cocktail lounge and have a martini or a drink, and he would take out this paper and his little palette, dip his brush into his drink, and start and paint a painting. And people used to stop by and say, what, you know, what are you doing? You know, he's having a drink and painting. And he, so he came back and told the fellow uh, people, that, the guys at the uh, ASA, uh, these buddies of his about it, and they decided, you know, it might be a fun thing to do with him. We ought to do this. Maybe we could call us the whiskey painters. So basically, that's how it started. Well, yeah, but really, he met John Pike in New York. He was the first whiskey painter. First whiskey painter, yeah. And we met at a bar and did the paintings and he traded them and called them whiskey painters. Because John liked to drink too. Yeah, those days, they, they, you know, these folks like to. They like their martinis and so forth. But, so that's how it basically started. And so they, they, they had so much fun at the very beginning, they decided we should just sort of basically incorporate this and actually make it into a structured group. And they uh, formed a charter, made rules, and uh, that's where we're at today. We kept it pretty much the same for the last 50 years or more. We can use now to register. We're registered today, so uh, yeah. There's other, out, other. There've been other little groups that have sort of tried to copy it because it, today you could go to about any state in the United States and talk to some artist, and he had mentioned whiskey painters, and they would have heard about it. So it's been a pretty popular uh, thing. We actually get more more people that would like to be members than we can make members because we're limited to a maximum of 150 members for the, whole, for the whole country. Actually, for the whole world, we did have a couple of members that were uh, one from Mexico, one in Canada, one was a German fellow that was a painter. So we're probably could be considered an international group. The Cuyahoga Valley Art Center is at 2131 Front Street in downtown Cuyahoga Falls. For details, call 330-928- 8092 or visit www.cvartcenter.org online.